guys, in this video we're going to make a corgi cake topper and I'm going to use modelling paste so that mine sets nice and hard. So I'm taking quite a large amount, obviously the size is up to you with how large or small you want your corgi to be. And I've kind of got a rough oval shape and we're going to give it a little bit of a bend just slightly, like that. And I'm going to push with my fingers at the end that's going to become the bum. And these are going to become hip joints. So just push it up a little bit with a bit of a curve. So that's it from the side angle so you can see. And I've dyed some more modelling paste in a honey gold colour. So I'm rolling this to create a big patch of colour that will go on the back of the dog. And I'm just going to put a little bit of water, or you can use edible glue. And I'm going to push this on the back. Now, I haven't gone for any particular shape. I've just stuck it on in the shape that it's sort of ended up when I've rolled it. Because you'll see when we push it round, you can spread it with your finger till it meets wherever you want it to go to. And I've got two round balls now of the same colour modelling paste that we're just going to squash a little bit flatter. And we're going to stick these at either side of the bum where we put those little hip joint marks. And then we're going to do the same at the front of the body where we just pinch in a little bit with our fingers. They will become the shoulders. And back to the back feet. So I've rolled a little oval of white modelling paste and then put two dints in with the modelling tool. And that is going to push underneath the bottom of that circle. And you're just going to do exactly the same on the other side. At the moment you'll find it wants to fall over so I'm just going to rest it on my rolling pin for the time being and we're going to work on front legs. So I've got a sausage shape of modelling paste and I'm kind of pushing in part way up so that it leaves me with a bigger bit at the bottom which will become the foot and then just narrow down the leg as thin as you want it to be and I'm going to cut that off at an angle like that and we're going to put the little toe marks in so just two lines with your modelling tool and we'll put a bit of water again on that and that slant is going to now stick to that dint that you made with your finger earlier and you can do exactly the same on the other side so now we're just going to create some more patches. These ones will go on the legs, so just nice thin bit. Again, I'm not aiming for any particular shape, and I'm just going to stick these on the tops of the legs. You move it around to where you want it to go with a modelling tool, and just, again, do the same on the other one. And now we're going to create a patch of fur for the front. So it's got like a bit of a flat teardrop shape, and I'm just cutting a little circle out, almost so it looks like a bit of a bib. And I'm going to just push some little lines up the side so it looks a bit more like hair. And we can stick this in place again with a bit of water. So near the top of the neck, like that. And then just go through those little lines again, pushing the piece onto the body as you're doing it. And another smaller teardrop, more lines in it. So again, it looks like hair. And we'll push that on there still, like that. So honey gold colour modelling paste again, roll into a teardrop shape. And we're going to stick that onto the bum for the little tail. So you can either use a cocktail stick for support through the neck or a piece of spaghetti if, you, if it needs to be kept fully edible. For the face, I'm going to take a round ball of the white modelling paste and what I'm going to do is start shaping the nose. So I'm going to pinch a little bit of the ball outwards to create a nose shape and then I'm going to pinch sort of where the cheeks would be at either side to bring them a little bit further out like that. So you've got the nose there at the front. I'm just putting a little dint in the forehead. I'm pushing my fingers in slightly where I think I want the eyes to go. Now, for the mouth, I'm going to cut the top and the bottom by putting a little line down either side with my knife. Just make sure it goes all the way through so you can open that mouth up. Like that. Just using my modelling tool there to prise it up and a little bit more. And a little line from the top up to where the nose would be. And some little lines for hair on the very edge of either side of the face. Again, using the other end of my modelling tool, we're going to push out to make a sort of smiley face. And I'm using the bottom of my paintbrush to just push in two eye holes like that. And I wanted to have quite defined eyebrows and making mine into a girl, I think. But you can make a girl or a boy. So just pinch them up with your fingers. Some tiny little dots with my cocktail stick either side. And I've got like a deep pink that I've mixed with a bit of pink and brown. And that's just going to slot into the mouth area now. So you can use a modelling tool to push that in place. And then I'm going to use a bit of black modelling paste now for a little nose. So I kind of create a bit of a triangle shape. I'm just going to stick that on the very end. Now I'm wetting the face and I've rolled thin some more of the honey gold modelling paste. And we're going to put this on as like a big eye patch. And we'll put one on the other side of the face as well to match. Go back over the eye hole with your brush. And then we're going to fill those eye holes with some white modelling paste. So roll a couple of balls and then change the shape a little bit if your eyeball is not completely round. Now we want two tiny balls of black and you're just going to put those into the eyes. And I've got a tiny, tiny little piece 
of the honey gold modeling paste which I haven't got perfectly shaped but we'll push that around with a modeling tool so that it just comes onto the top of the eye for eyelids and then two tiny pieces of black I'm going to roll them nice and thin so they've got a point on either end and these are going to become eyelashes so put them so they go along the bottom of the eyelid and so they come just a little bit further out at either side so they look like eyelashes and then I'm going to finish off the eyes with a tiny tiny dot of white modeling paste in each one and now I've dyed a bit of a paler pink, create like a teardrop shape. I'm going to squash it down with a little line up the middle. And this is going to become the tongue. And I'm going to give her a tooth. So it's just a little triangle of white on there. Some little black eyebrows. So just two tiny pieces of black rolled nice and thin. For the ears, I'm going to use the same pink that I've used for the tongue. And I've created two sort of flat teardrop shapes and then I'm going to create two flat teardrop shapes but in a slightly bigger size in the honey gold. And you're going to push these together so the pink goes inside the honey gold like that. I'm just going to put a bit of a dint in the middle with my modelling tool and pinch that bottom bit together on each one. Then you've got two ears. And then we need to push these onto the sides of the head. Now give them a good push because they don't always stick up first and we want to keep them firmly in place. So I'm going to put a little bit of water around the top of that neck and we're just going to push that head on. Now apologies that you can only see it from above. I'll lift this up so you can see. Now I've got a bit of a gap so we're going to fill that in with white. I've just rolled a piece of or squished between my hands a piece of white that's going to be long enough to sort of wrap around the bottom of the neck and I've pulled it to a point in the middle and we're just going to put in lots of lines for the hair and then we're going to hopefully just slot that in place around the neck. There you go. And you can make them in all different positions. So this one's just sitting down and you can give them some jewellery like a crown. So I do have another video for the crown which you can find here. Thank you for watching. If you liked this video and would like to see more, please click on the images of the other videos suggested. Also, please do subscribe to my channel using the button at the bottom right hand corner of the screen. You can also visit my cake website and my Facebook page to see more cakes and ideas.